Good afternoon. So, here we are. We have brakes, we have steering, we have suspension, we have a fuel tank. It's, gonna, it's time to start putting some bodywork back on this truck. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on is front end sheet metal. And by that I mean the radiator support, your inner fender wells, your fenders. Notice how I said fenders, not wings. Wings go on birds and airplanes. The hood, not a bonnet. All right, bonnets are what old ladies wear on their heads. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that together so I can figure out how much of this has to be moved back. And then that will also let me figure out where the harness can plug in through the firewall. So. That's what I'll do. Decide not to move the radiator back or any of that stuff. And it worked. Um, I still need to create. I did have to this uh, uh, this support here. Uh, I did have to take the bend out of it so it wouldn't be hitting the uh, power steering. Uh, cooler, but I did want to put a tab back there as a support. Um, so there, there is room. Obviously, so yes, I have what appears to be a stone shield, but it's just cut up. Mine was all bent up anyway, so I had nothing to lose. Um, but this is going to have to go for the stone shield to go in, and then the bumper to go on. I was hoping that I could keep that there as an awesome place to mount the bumper as well as having a place to put this wiring loom going across, but it's not going to work. Alright, so on your 67 to 72 F series truck, you have these horns, if you will, on the end of your frame, which your bumper uh, mounts straight to. Uh, there's no support brackets or anything. That's literally what your bumper mounts to. So, what I did is I created these plates, um, four of them, and what they'll do is they copy that shape. And what I'll do is I'm going to make little box in plates to attach to the grand marquee. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. This is one of two, obviously. But the reason I didn't go with the complete boxing was because then I lost access to putting the nuts on. So let me show you a little bit more what I have going on here. And this notch, if you just make a little note of that, I will explain why that's there. This is just an area that's not being used. And where this is going to go is this. So this is the part that's going to go inside of your bumper. Now, you'll see a little bit of gap there. Not a big deal. Um, I promise you, though, I had this thing perfectly shaped to a Ford bumper but then I realized it was just too bent. I don't have a place to uh, around here that can straighten and chrome them. So I bought a new one and of course you know how aftermarket stuff fits. So anyways, so that and that one will get welded to the frame. Let me show you that part. Here is what I have come up with. So, the Grand Marquis uh, bumper support slash cross member had to come out. There's no way around it. It has to go. So, cut that out. And then I added this bar in uh, because, just like everything else I've done, it's become multi purpose. Um, there should be plenty of uh, 
support in this frame because you still have this lower cross member in there that's also the radiator support. So that's still there. That has not moved. But I don't think, you know, adding this one inch uh, square tubing in, how strong is that? Is it really doing anything? I don't know. I think any little bit helps. However, these two on the outer uh, tabs, those are mounting points for the stone deflector. And then this tab with the um, bolt that's been welded in place, that is for your grill support, um, your uh, vertical uh, center grill support, which is also your uh, hood lock, um, your latch, whatever you call it, support. So anyways, so I got those out of the deal. Uh, I'm going to run my wiring harness across the top of this. That crossover piece will come out of the plastic and run over the top of that. I will have to probably add another um, little piece on for the air temp sensor to attach to. And as far as the frame goes, so um, same thing. So you can see your, where your stone shield would go across. So this frame has to be notched. So cut the notch out of it, boxed it back in, and then why this little bit of extra piece is here is that's where my bumper support is going to mount to and that notch I was talking about is going to go under the support so it's just another place to weld to. So let me get that uh, those attached and we'll see how it works out. Eh? What do you think? So here's what you end up doing. So now these are attached uh, all the way, running all the way down, and er, the, along the front and bottom of that, and then for extra support. I ended up putting where are you? There. A piece there. So now it's attached in three different places. If I really wanted to get creative and really toughen it up, I suppose I could also add a piece here. So it boxes this in more. I might do that. Um, I don't know, you know, it's just one of those things, snowball effect, I mean, I could make this thing indestructible if I wanted to, but uh, anyway, and there's that one. Now get this, so I ended up taking this, this harness, crossover harness out of that damn little rectangular thing, it just, it's a, it sits there and fights, it's not worth having. Uh, obviously, this harness will get wrapped. Um, this here, or not here, these. Uh, there's two of them. These are for your uh, airbags. That could come out. I don't know. It's two wires. Probably not going to save anything, but we'll see. Anyways, I'll wrap this harness back up. But one thing I did is I did cut this is your air temp, air temp sensor here. And all I did was cut it out of that um, U-shaped housing and wrapped it around this box tubing. So all I got to do is put a like a uh, you know, sheet metal screw through there and there it is. Air temp sensor held in place. So let me put this uh, pile of crap together. Give me a few minutes. And there you go. Front bumper supported by itself. Uh, front end is together as much as it has been this far in the build. And I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy. So with that being said, my next project is going to be take this whole thing apart again. And 
work on my inner fender wells. And that's one reason why I couldn't do all of this in one episode because there is so much involved with these inner fenders, uh, trimming them and getting them to fit the frame, the wiring harness, um, the suspension, everything else, along with this front uh, radiator support. So I'm going to have to break it up into pieces. Now I do have different inner fenders and a different radiator support. Um, so I was fortunate in that way that since these are trashed, I got to use these as templates, if you will. So I think that's what I'm going to do next is take this apart and show you exactly what I've had to do to make these fenders or inner fenders fit transfer that over to my new ones and go from there so that is my plan right now as much as I am really sick of working on this front end that I've had on and off a hundred times um, that's part of the mock-up stage and I'd really want to get this part done so that I can say it's done other than paint but I'm really getting the itch to do the bed next. Move on to something else. So I'm torn. I need to do the bed. I want to do the bed. I want to just do something else for a change. But I really dread coming back to this knowing that there's still so much work to be done. So anyway, there will be an update coming once I figure that out. But for now... I was kind of a happy camper. <laughs>